Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video I will show you another budget value oriented uh, knife from Berker Magnum line that they recently uh, released in the uh, 2023 mid uh, year. So this will be the 01 SC722 Berker Magnum Blue Jay. So uh, they are releasing rather uh, some interesting, really nice interesting uh, knives with my carta. So I am really happy with this decision and uh, I previously uh, made the video about the Rockstop, which is in my opinion a really nice uh, crossbar lock, uh, axis lock type of a knife. So now uh, with the Blue Jay we have something with a button lock. So I'm really uh, happy that uh, Burker does experiment uh, with this new type of, uh, not new type because the axis lock and um, the button lock are really two uh, really nice old uh, locking uh, mechanisms and but uh, axis lock uh, did, did lose the the protection from the from the patent uh, because the patent expired so now everybody can uh, make them and the button lock is I don't know if it is uh, fair use but uh, yeah. Uh, definitely a really safe uh, locking method in which uh, the fingers are not in way closing the knife itself okay so let's talk about the blue jay so this will be your uh, budget offering for around uh, 35 uh, i don't know if uh, dollars um, the price what i got us was uh, 35 uh, euros this was still not listed because they are new uh, on the US websites by the time when I probably make uh, this video public uh, because there is a time uh, making these videos and publishing them uh, I will try to put the uh, links down below for the pricings on also on USA uh, dealers because lots of my subscribers are from USA of course so it is uh, useful for you that I share this information but for now uh, let me uh, tell that this is a really nice compact full-sized knife for that amount of money you are probably getting a pay or sh should i should i predict the price so let's predict um, the price should be around uh 30 dollars probably less probably less because the rock stub is around 45 and it does cost 35 so yeah so there is a really nice uh, value in uh, these new Magnum lines. So this is what I uh, really like them. And also they give you every design will have a different kind of micarta. So I did saw some uh, some liner locks with the green, some with blue, and this one did strike my fancy, and it was it was in this really nice uh, blue micarta. So let me give you the specifications because I'm rambling on too long. We have a full size, like I mentioned, 20 centimeters or 7.8 inches long blade, so knife. The blade is 8.4 centimeters or, uh, uh, sorry, 8.4 centimeters or 3.3 inches. And I always measure the measurements from the start of the scale from to the tip. Uh, the blade width is 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch. Thickness is 2.4 millimeters or 0 0.1 inch. The handle is 11.5 centimeters or 4.5 inches with a thickness of uh, 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches that is without the pocket clip on this one on the blade we are getting 440a the rockstop uh, had 440b so yeah it is really interesting why they are changing uh, these uh, steels we have on this one a belt setting standard uh, finish with a really nice uh, clip point blade Handles are made out of blue uh, canvas micarta. We have full stainless steel liners. Uh, there is no skeletonization whatsoever. And this is a uh, observation that I made uh, when I uh, when I uh, talked a little bit about it in my previous video that uh, a little bit more money will give you uh, a better overall uh, finish. And I will be comparing this one to the, to the rock stop, so. Uh, if you're interested in that comparisons, uh, you can uh, wait a little bit and I will show you the differences. But let's continue. Uh, so uh, the 
the period assembly it rides on caged ball bearing washers so it's really nice and smooth for the lock we have button lock opening methods we have two of them we have dump studs and of obviously a flipper deployment for some reason they are putting the, the jimping on the outside i will probably we would like to have them on the top or on the yeah on the top would be better because uh, they are purely cosmetic so they are uh, they are uh, smooth so they will uh, not grab your finger so you can definitely uh, feel no irritation while playing with this knife so i don't know what's going on but yeah they are purely cosmetic we have also a little bit of jimping on the top which in my opinion is also cosmetic because this is no sharp whatsoever so it's really smooth the weight comes at 105 grams or 3.7 ounces like i mentioned these are not skeletonized so you can shave off a few grams if you would have uh, skeletonized liners but uh, that uh, is obviously not the the design that they opted to do on this one as far as uh, as far as pocket clip goes we have a medium to soft uh, tension and uh, unfortunately, like I mentioned, those dollars add up. Uh, for some reason, we have uh, rounded head uh, screws. So no flush screws like on the Rockstop. Either way, this is a really nicely designed uh, folded pocket clip. Let's see the sharpness. Yeah, this is really nice and sharp. So. It looks like a hollow grind blade yeah there is also a type of a four finger choil but please be careful because the blade starts right at, at the start of the of the of the blade right there so yeah but you could choke out a little bit for detailed work but yeah that is what it is Let's see the reverse grip. This is full size, like I mentioned, so my XL size hand will wrap really nicely and I also have a little bit more uh, space there to put my finger right on the top, so. Okay, let's continue with the, the pocket profile to see how much it will be sticking out. And it goes in the pocket uh, without any major problems, so this is how much is sticking out and if you are carrying blue jeans so <laughs> uh, it will be nicely and camouflaged okay let's bring out the rock stop and uh, let's make uh, the the comparison so like i mentioned uh, the rock stop let's check my notes here uh, should be around 45 uh, yeah it's around 45 msrp and that is around 43 uh, euros here in europe the blue jay is uh, 35.95 and i forgot to to mark the the currency so let's say it is euros but there is not that, that much difference so let's say around uh, $10 more. So this is a, uh, the Blue Jay is $10, uh, no, not, not even 10. <laughs> if they are dollars, then they are exactly uh, $10, but that is not important. So uh, what, will, what will net you the extra $10? Firstly, of course, you have nested liners. These are full. So uh, the extra money goes into the milling time, of course, obviously. So we have two nice pockets on the both sides. On the Blue Jay, there is none. Then they have a really nice uh, mirror uh, polish. These are just uh, black painted or black coated. The, yeah. The pocket clip, they are different designs, but 
obviously on the a more expensive one you have nice flush screws don't want on the less expensive one standoffs a piece of plastic for the backspacer belt setting finish nice acid black wash finish on the blade as far as uh, the logs go I um, definitely there should be no uh, more no more expensive one than the, uh, either one of them so they the same so the 10 extra dollars uh, will give you uh, give you a Oh, it's a lighter knife let's check the weight yeah definitely but this is also a smaller one so that is not a fair comparison but if i not uh, mention the weight the blue jay is 105 grams or 3.5 ounces and the uh, rock stop is 80.6 grams or 2.8 ounces but as far as goes a uh, lots of weight is also in the blade and uh, rock stop has a 2.7 inch uh, and this has 3.3 inches so yeah both of them are from the same uh, Berker Magnum line which are made in China I'm really happy that they did not spend any kind of extra money or on uh, those fancy pouches that Berker Plus uh, is using so uh, yeah there is also a nice saving right there but overall I must say I am really happy what I'm seeing from Bucker lately. I hope they will continue with these uh, micarta, <laughs> micarta knives. And uh, now let's see a few size comparisons. So let's see the CVV Elementum. Let's bring out the QSP Penguin. There is a spider call Delica Kaiser Brick Lighter 2. A red model 2. Small Griptilian, uh, full size Griptilian. Spiderco Paramilitary 2 Benchmade Bug Out From Senkat I have here the Saxi It's a little bit larger but also a great button log offering And from CVV uh, Here is the Cogent also a very nice button lock design from the same parent company as the Wii company both of them are probably from the same factory <laughs> so yeah so there should be also a step up in pricing of course uh, but uh, to explain so this is around let's say 35 this is around 55 this is around, around 70 85 i don't have the the exact numbers but uh, you are getting in the general ballpark of the the pricing so if you're looking for something a little bit uh, uh more refined or should i say uh, with a more refined design then i also can uh highly recommend these both two designs okay so now where is uh, the last few knives so here is the red model one and obviously let's say well, let's show also the peanut the ace grand from giant mouse
and let's close it down with the Kiba Dozer Holding Hunter. Okay, so this was the Berker Magnum Blue Jay, a new offering for 2023 from Berker and Knives under their Magnum line. So if you're looking for something uh, with a really nice, uh, really nice uh, blue micarta and this clip point uh, blade shape, then check it out. With that being said, I would like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. With that being said, wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.